my day's learning project covers the story of a microfinance company, Prop Social Ventures, which originally began as an initiative and became a student organization before it was finally incorporated as its own entity. And our story starts with inspiration. And our, excuse me, Mohammed Yunus won a Nobel Peace Prize for his microfinance work in Bangladesh for Green Bank. Mohammed Yunus came to speak at Dallas where three SMU students had the opportunity to attend the lecture and were so inspired by the movement that they, along with a few other students, applied for a Big Ideas grant in 2011. They were accepted and it launched off as a Mustang microfinance. Our loan conditions were similar to Green Bank, however, our interest rate was actually lower at 5%. Not only is the interest rate lower, but it's also expected to be refunded to the borrower at the end of it upon successful repayment and as long as the borrower meets with us monthly in order to uh, do business consulting and financial education with us. We advertise at City Square CityWalk at Act Community, which is subsidized housing downtown. One of our first borrowers was John. John was a big proponent of our success. He really encouraged other people he knew that were low income entrepreneurs to come apply for our loans. And his idea was to design and sell Christian themed t-shirts to local youth groups in the area. He was so successful that we ended up lending to him three times and twice he was a successful borrower and we'll get to the third time later. Another idea was Mary who had healthy candy apples. She says she doesn't use any artificial sweeteners or sugar and they taste so good we think she's lying, but she's been a good borrower, so we'll take her word for it. After about two years of Mustang Microfinance, our financial handler, the plan fund, dissolved. This, coupled with me getting my age learning project granted with conditions, caused us to incorporate our on our own. Now those conditions centered around the fact that SMU did not want to be in the business of lending money, as you can imagine. So we needed to distance ourselves from Mustang Microfinance, which was run by SMU students, into our own entity, where we were now handling all our administrative work ourselves. Because of this, there were a lot of growing pains. With the plan fund, we could focus slowly on the relationship. However, now that we were on our own, we had to balance a lot of things we weren't prepared for, such as repayment of loans and just discussing all this administrative work that, you know, as students, we hadn't really experienced in real life. So it became more of an obligation to ask so much of these students rather than an enhancement like it was originally set out to be. Around this time, John also came to us a third time, and we approved him just as twice before. However, about a week or two before the loans were set to be dispersed, he called us and said he needed the money that day. So in between classes, I wrote him a check. He took it downtown to where the founder signed off on it. And from then on, we didn't really hear from him. Now, one of our second cycle applicants, Ron, wants to borrow from us a third time. He, like John, also applied and was successful two times before. However, uh, I tell the current president now, Joseph, to be careful. I told him the story of John, which he hadn't heard before. And that gets to our learning from experiences. We now focus on relationships with borrowers. We do two <coughs> interviews instead of one. The loan application process is longer, and we give out less loans and usually less money. Our initial loans range from $100 to $1,000. Now we try to make a maximum at $800. Ideally, we would have a financial overseer, such as Green Bank as City, in order to oversee everything so we can focus on relationships again. Until then, we'll have to figure it out on our own. Overall, I'd say the outlook is positive. Our fifth cycle loan applications are currently in review. We're on our third president, who already has an idea of who the fourth will be. So it shows that the organization can really sustain without the original leadership or the leadership that's really kicked it off. And alums like myself and Rita Beer, who actually was one of the founders and has come here today, still come around to give us advice and just talk about, like I said, the history of John to make sure these mistakes don't happen again. And this January actually marks four years since the beginning of this initiative that has launched. There's so many ups and downs and it's still going strong. And I'm glad to have been a part of it. I think it's really grown me as a person and it's been a great idea that's been applied to the Dallas community. I want to thank you all for your time and thanks to Engage Learning and Jim Bryan, our advisor for 